Alright, welcome back. I've grinded my characters to level 6 instead of 5. Well, but it's just one level so it doesn't really matter. I've also blown all my money on healing items, although you don't have to. It gives you a good safety barrier in the fight later on. You don't really have to use any of these items while traveling, at least for now. And anyway, here we are in the Forest of Magic. Okay, so I I think I've explained this in the last part, but I'm going to edit out all the random encounters from now on because, well, they are repetitive. So, on to the story, this is a map that you won't really see if you don't actively search for it. It doesn't really have much of a use for now. So the Forest of Magic is sort of shaped in a diamond, excluding the first two maps of course. Now we are going to go to Marisa's house which is, well, past that sign, which conveniently seems to be the east of the Forest of Magic. There might be a use for this ladder, but I can't remember, so I don't know. And well, here's a resting point. If you want to, you could use this resting point and grind a bit outside, especially if you are not at level 5 yet, because the mobbing spells you get at level 5 will make this place and the Misty Lake a lot easier. Although if you don't want to use this place to grind, you can always go to Alice's house, which is on the other side of the Forest of Magic. So, well, let's just go on to the north. Yes, the Scarlet Devil Mansion is north of Misty Lake. However, you won't be able to access the SDM until after you complete the main storyline. It is actually one of the ending that you are able to choose, but that will be a lot later into the game, which is quite long by the way. So north is the entrance to Misty Lake, but since this part is about the Forest of Magic itself, we, we are not going to go up. So let's go take a visit to Alice's house, which is south of here. Mm, to be more correct, it will be the other end of this map. Just follow the path and you'll find it. For those that have forgotten, we picked up a side quest in the human village. Something about Alice losing things. So we are going to investigate right after we loot this map of everything they have.
now that I've looted everything here, I think, let's go inside Alice's house. Which is fittingly called the dollhouse since, well, Alice is a puppeteer. I don't think it's really typical though, I don't do that. But Alice is definitely paranoid. There's a typo here, it's supposed to be Shanghai instead of France. So, well, here's the continuation to the last side quest. So we are going to have to search for the four missing doors, friends, Tibet, Haurai and Shanghai. And they'll be during the course of the main storyline. And here we find the first door. Eyes, huh? Kind of makes you wonder. And here we have the second place for you to grind for a while. Now that that's done, let's go on to the Misty Lake. There's actually nothing much south of. Alice's house by the way, it's just the south map of the Forest of Magic. And well, the next part will be about the Misty Lake, so I'm going to stop here. Thanks for watching.